Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome. How are you? I'm very well, teacher. What about you? I'm doing great. Yeah, about to put my nice. headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Yanari. Welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. I'm doing great right now, teacher. Okay, no problem. Thank you for notifying me. All right. Thank you, Jeff. All right. No problem. Let me know when you are ready to participate, okay, Yanari? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. No problem. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Hello, Alvin. Welcome. Let me see. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. How was your weekend? Very relaxing. Very relaxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's great, that's great. Good evening. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Telma, welcome, welcome. All right, let me see. <clears throat> well, we will finalize today, right? We will finalize the unit three and have a little look at what what is in store for unit four, right? Okay. Neftali. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, teacher. All right. And you? See, I'm doing great. Um, just to remind you that um, you are okay. You're doing it right now, huh? The homework. Yes, I am. Uh, I can yes, tell. I, am. I can tell. <laughs> all right, all right. I was going to tell you that you're one of the four, right? Only four people haven't done it, but you're doing it right now. I can tell. It was at zero, and I was like, what? <laughs> but now it's at 40. It's at 40 right now. So, okay, continue. Yes. Continue, Neftali. I'm not going to bother you. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. All right, no problem. Let me see. Edwin. Edwin. And Roland. Do, 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 do. All right. Let me see. All right. <clears throat> so how was your how was your week, um, Doris? Hello, Doris. You here? How was your week? Everything was good? I cannot hear you. All right. Let's see, we have Doris. How was your weekend? How was your Saturday and Sunday? We cannot hear you, Doris. Let me see.
No la escucho, Doris. No la escuchamos. We cannot hear you. Hopefully you can hear me. All right. Let's see. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, just to remind you, Edwin. Yes. All right. No ha logrado el 80 por ciento. Right. Yes, I, it's because I, I, I don't understand the exercise. It's, I think it's the four. Okay, remember, you can always contact me, okay, if you have okay. any difficulties, right? And, okay, teacher. All right. Just remember that, right? Siempre pueden contactar if you have difficulties in the platform. But um, just on one, Edwin? I'm sorry, teacher. And cuál era? Which one? Is is the the one the the one that you need the puntuation, the puntuation because I write it down, but actually uh, I, I I always run. Okay, so you're I don't talking. Know what, what I have to do? You're talking about three point five. I still yes. have problems too. Okay, let me see. Puntuation. All right. It's already it's already fixed. All right. Remember this? Remember this, Alvin? Where we put the space here? Administration already fixed it. Okay. So I contacted them. So this is fixed. And we're still working on the other part. There's a little section, I believe, here. Let me see. Aquí. 3.9. So you say. 15 of 20, this is almost getting fixed, all right? So they're working on it also, okay? Oh, and 3.5. 3. Okay, 3.5, this one is already fixed. Number number three is still a mistake. I don't know. The warehouse doesn't have enough dogs. Therefore, we have to put a produce in the item. Yeah, I write it that way, but it is still wrong. Okay, did you write it this way? With a period and then capital letter? Yeah, both. Mm. Yeah, capital letter, therefore, and... And the comma. And the yeah, space. and the comma. We have, yeah, the space we have to put. You still have it wrong? Let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Edwin, please take a look yes, at teacher. it. All right, ahí están. Yes. I make a screenshot right now. All right, great. All right. I know Thank that there so was much. there were some a few mistakes here, but uh, okay. It, I already got it fixed with administration as far as the spaces, especially here, right? So okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So you, remember, there are two ways to do this. You can put the period and then a capital letter, therefore, then a comma. Okay. And at the end, you have to put the period. Uh -huh. Or you can use the apostrophe, the, the apostrophe. All right. The semicolon. No, it's not apostrophe. It's semicolon. Uh, okay. semicolon uh, punto y coma se le dice en español, right? Semicolon. semicolon. And then space. And then therefore, uh -huh. comma. And then Ooh. the rest of the sentence with the period at the end. Okay. All right. Remember, if you put this minuscula, it's going to give you incorrect. If you don't put the space, si no ponen los espacios después de la coma or a semicolon, it's incorrect. Ooh. If you don't put the period at the end, it's incorrect also. All right. So you have to have proper. Um, proper punctuation in order to get all of them correct. All right, try to do it right now and let me know, okay, Edwin and Alvin? Okay. All right, okay, that way I, I, can, uh, uh, I can put your grade, okay? Porque falta el suyo, Edwin. And, yeah. um, yeah. Oh, only you. And let me see. Sure. And I teacher, yes, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
Yes, teacher, I have a question. I, I, ha I have, uh, I have a room, um, the number three and number four, and I, I don't get to, to fix the answers. Okay, you can, can fix I them right now. A, can you I can send you? In, in okay. what part? What part, Carlos? Okay, I will send you a picture. All right. Is it 3.5? Yes. Okay. okay, I just showed it right now. ¿Le tomaste captura? Yes. Hmm. Okay. okay. If you fix it, si usted lo arregla ahorita, yo le cambio la nota. Okay. Right? I will modify the grade. Remember that um, if you correct it <clears throat> and it was wrong and you continue to correct it, I'm going to give you the best score. All right? adquiriría usted la mejor nota, no la que tenía anterior. So if you fix it and you want to get a little bit more, a little bit more of a higher grade, that is the grade that I will modify in the platform. All right. Sure, but can I send you the, the text because I don't know why why don't can be uh, great. It's still showing incorrect. Carlos? Only, only two. Only which one? Could what you, number? Could you, could you check my 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 WhatsApp text? text? Yes, sure, no problem. No problem, Carlos. I will do it. It's just gonna be a minute. Let me see. The world doesn't have enough dots, therefore. That's the two answers. What? Why is it in Spanish? Um, yeah, because I was doing in other, other dispositive, but I will change the language here. Yes, please don't send it. Don't send it yes. to me in Spanish. Because I, I won't be able to see what's wrong, Carlos. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So send it to me in English so I can yes. see what the mistake is. Okay. Yes, teacher. Right. I will. I will change. I will change it right now. Okay. Thank you. Because that that will be the only way that I can check what is incorrect or or what is correct. Right. Thank yeah, you. I will send you right now the current screenshot. Mm -hmm. Current screenshot, did you? Okay. Sure. Okay. Yes. And three point nine. They still give us um, fifteen out of twenty points. Yes. Yes, Fredis. Yes. I contacted the administration, and either two options. I don't have two options. I already notified administration. I already contacted them today and yesterday and they're working on it right now all right they're working on it because they have to do the modification with technical support right the it should be finished by tomorrow and if anything they will contact in the group they will let it be known in the group or they will let me know and i can tell y'all okay but yes i contacted them on saturday all right. Okay. On Friday, Saturday. So they're working on that, Freddy. So yes. Thank you. All right. No problem. Trust me. I, I will make sure until until I see 2020, I won't stop for you. <laughs> all right. Trust me. All right. I will. I will fight for all the points that belong to you. All right. Let me see. Let me see what. I give up, teacher. You give up? Did you do I, it? Yeah, I'm still <laughs> like fixing. It's still giving me a mistake. I don't know why. Did you do it both ways? Yeah, both ways, but I, I don't did. know. Loving. Yeah. And when you get in the pack in the platform, what you could do is copy the whole sentence and copy and page. Copy and paste. Yeah. Just add the, the yeah. intuition. Okay. 
I will try that way. Thank you. Yeah, because uh, Freddy's, you got them all correct, right? Yeah. Because that happened to me before, so now what I do is just copy and paste, and then I then I do the punctuation or whatever I need to add on it. I think the problem is in the apostrophe a dozen. It could could it be in your in your that that could be. It could be a possibility with the okay. All right, Carlos, I will contact you after class, okay? I I I resolved so you already got one, it? One right, got right it. now. I will try to the other one. All right, great, great. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, all right. Alvin. Okay. Which one you're having problem right now, Alvin? What number? Number three of three point five. Yeah, but what what number? All of them? Number three. Just number, number three. three. The warehouse doesn't have enough dogs. I'm going to copy it, and then uh, I'm going to send it how I have it right here. I'm going to send it on the WhatsApp for you to just copy and paste. I did it when, <laughs> as you tell me. <laughs> I copy at the platform, and I and just add the. I'm gonna send it to you on WhatsApp and then you copy yeah. it on WhatsApp and then you, you just put it on the platform. Yeah, it's right. I got it. You got it? I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got oh. it that way. Hey. Yeah, thank you. All right. Can you send it to Carlos right now, Alvin? Can you send it what? to Carlos? Yes. Or Freddy's, can you send it to Carlos real quick? Yeah. So I don't yes, have I to like. I don't have to uh, put it on a Word document right here and send it to him. Can you do that for me, Freddy's? Or can yeah, you I can do it. Carlos? Send it directly to Carlos. Don't send it to the group. Yeah, to Carlos. Uh, apostrophe yes. of dozen. That was the problem, teacher. That was that was the problem, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. The right. the number five, the number four. I have I have a mistake. Only only this, only that. Only a number four. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. I'll send it to you. All okay. right, Freddy. Thank you. Thanks. Let me see. Uh, who is this? Someone just sent me this. Jackie? Hello, Jackie. Hello, teacher. Good All evening. Right. All right. Welcome. Uh, Freddy, can you do me a favor? Can you send um, one, three, and four to Jackie, please? All right, that way. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, Freddy. Okay, he's going to send it to you, Jackie. All right. Let me see. All right, class, I hope you had a great weekend. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I know the platform is giving me a little problems, but we're trying to resolve them, right? So I'm trying to help you as much as possible. And uh, I want to thank Freddy's also for for collaborating, right? And thank you, Freddy, for sending me por mandarme la captura usted, Freddy's sobre el otro problema en la plataforma. Se lo agradezco. Thank you. Right? I already notified administration. Ya administración sabe sobre esto. So they might contact you. Si quizás quieren contactarse con ustedes, es posible que los contacten sobre los inconvenientes de la plataforma, porque ya se los hice saber. They are aware of it, or they will send me the solution and I will notify everyone, or they are will notify in the WhatsApp group also. All right. So that's why it's a little delayed right now because I have to send the grade by 12, right? And I only need like two people. Two people that haven't completed. But I'm pretty sure you will do it here shortly okay i hope you had a great weekend and we just have one more week left right next monday we are finished hopefully god willing we will finish and today will be the last pages of warehouse warehousing today i'm going to do the attendance right now that way we can continue i know we have a little delay because of the platform right but 
we're mm. they're sure. still getting it sure yes I don't, have, I don't have carlos um numbers whatsapp number i don't i don't see it on the group i don't know if, he, if he's in the group I, no. please i can send you a, a message can send me a message like put hi or something a thumbs up or something so i could see your number and send you the the right answer yes i'm going to do that right now uh, just say hello on the group right now <laughs> and then freddy will know it's you all right, let me see. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, not here. Blanca. Blanca. Okay, not here. Brenda. Brenda. I'm not here. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin. Present. All right, thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. I'm here, teacher. Predis, all right, thank you. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Glenda. Iris. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. All right, thank you. Jarvin. Darvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. Carla. Okay, not here. Neftali. Neftali. Right. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. I know you're busy right now. I got no. it. Uh, let me know when you finish, Neftali, okay? I did finish. Just, okay. I guess. All right. Uh, Rolando? Hello. All right. Elma? Okay, I see you, Telma. Janari? I'm here. All right, thank you. And finally, Alvin. Present. All right, thank you. Let me see. All right. So we will continue with the with the unit. We will go on unit three and continue and finalize the warehouse and okay Rolando I sent you what you asked me Jackie I mean Janari also sent you what you asked as far as vocabulary all right I hope thank you, you teacher no thank problem you. Rolando thank you for asking for extra material all right let me see thank you teacher I received the, all right no problem information all right enjoy <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to share the. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Can you read it, please, Neftali? Unit three warehouse how to use closes reading activity safety procedures monday november 29th 2021 teacher mr henry mr henry intermediate for class number 20. all right intermediate 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 yes uh, very good thank you neftali perfect well done now we're going to finalize today we have the last two pages that we still have to do in continuation from where we left off on friday right so friday we did the other activities and today we are going to finalize 
Let's go to page. The little bit of grammar, go to page 31. Okay, page 31 of your book. And if you look, page 32, we are finished. We are finished. We're going to work on these two right now. Let's begin with the first one. Let me see. Um, Alvin, can you read the topic, please? How to use clouds? How to use clauses with when and if to express future conditions? Conditions. Conditions. Begin. Continue. Clauses with when or if describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. All right, so we're working with clauses, okay? Remember, clausulas, clauses. We use if or when. These are not complete sentences, all right? They need, they need something to, to back it up in order to give a complete meaning a complete thought, a conclusion, a cause and effect, right? Una causa y efecto, if you want to look it in that perspective. Can you continue, please, Alvin? When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction, satisfaction will be compromised or customer's satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate project orders. Okay, very orders. good. Let's, yes, all right, very good. Let's pause here for a minute. Let's take a small pause. If you notice, you can, you can change the sentence. The meaning does not change, all right? Aunque usted mueva la oración, you move las cláusulas, even if you move the clauses, the meaning doesn't change, all right? The meaning doesn't change. El concepto no cambia. Because if you say, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, the punctuation does change. You put a comma, all right? This is called, aunque no lo dice aquí, yo se lo puedo decir, this is called uh, a dependent clause. Una clause de dependiente, this is a dependent clause which means it cannot be by itself. No puede estar sola. When, the, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, cuando no hay uh, órdenes de compras, right? Cuando hay órdenes de compras. Inaccurate, that, what is inaccurate? Can someone tell me what, what would be a synonym for inaccurate? Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. Mm, okay. Thank you, but um, the, can a little bit different. Like incorrect. Exactly. All uh -huh. right. Incorrect. The opposite. Inaccurate. Right. Inaccurate. That is the opposite. Right. When there are inaccurate purchase orders, so that means there's something wrong here. Right. Something is amiss. Something is in dismay, then you have an effect, right? Hay un efecto por esta, for this problem. And what is that? The customer satisfaction will be, notice the will for future tense, right? Will be compromise. Hmm, compromise. What do you think will? What do they what do they mean by compromised? What do they mean by compromise? A que se refieren con compromise? Does someone know? Remember in order in in order to understand what they're saying, you have to understand the vocabulary. All right, you have to understand the vocabulary. What do they mean by cost compromise? 
the customer satisfaction will be compromised. Prácticamente no es literal como comprometido, comprometido. Don't take it like that, all right? The, I know if you Google it, it will say that, all right? But here is talking about la satisfacción del cliente está en riesgo, is compromised, all right? It's at risk when you do not have accurate purchase orders. So we have the when and we have the will. Notice the two. Or you can put the will here. You can change the clauses and put when here. The difference is, la diferencia de la puntuación, the punctuation. When you start, when you start, cuando usted empieza con when or if, that, that is an independent clause que lleva una comma. It takes a comma. Let me put this spotlight here. It takes a comma. All right. If you use hit, notice here, if, ta, 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 comma. Okay. Now, if you don't, if you start with productivity here, let's do the, the next one, the if clause. Um, continue, Alvin. Okay, teacher. If there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will de decrease. All right. Or productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. Very good, excellent. You notice the way they, the way you can flip the, the clauses, right? Productivity will decrease if, right? La productividad se caería o se disminuirá if there is a lack of communication. Si hay una, uh, hay poco de comunicación between employees, right? Now here, si hay poco de comunicación entre empleados, right? But you can use, this is the good thing about these clauses. You can put the independent clause first and then the dependent clause. Or you can put the dependent clause first and then you put a comma, then the independent clause. So basically, the dependent clause will have when or if. Y la cláusula independiente va a tener el will. All right? That is the key here. That is the key here. If you can follow that grammar structure, then you will not be lost. You will not be incorrect when you create these sentences. Uh, can you continue, Alvin? Notice that, that the when plus if clause is expressed in present tense and the independent clause expresses future tense with will. Very good, right? That's what I just finished telling you, everyone. We have an independent clause with will. Lo que no dice aquí es que estas son Dependent clauses, right? They are called dependent clauses. Se lo voy a escribir. All right, the dependent clause has the if or when, All right? The independent clause has the will, contiene el will, and the dependent clause has if or when. Remember, in anything, in anything that you learn in English, report this intermediate, basic, advanced, it doesn't matter. When you have a dependent clause, significa que no puede estar sola. 
All right? Es como tener un efecto sin una causa, all right? All right? It's like, okay, if you were not speeding, you wouldn't have crashed, right? Or if you didn't have glasses, si no tengo lentes, que what would happen? I can't see, right? So si no veo porque no tengo los lentes. So that, that's the similarity between a dependent clause and independent clause. The difference is that dependent clause cannot be by itself. Jamás. Nunca. Never. When you're talking in, in trying to give a point. Cuando quiere dar un, un ejemplo. Or a point of view. Dependent clause always will have something that will connect it to finalize to finalize whatever expression you want to give All right so just remember that i know here it's like clause, but i'm giving it to you right now in class All right let me see and the same works in Spanish, all right? You can't have a dependent clause by itself, right? It will be like, it will be inaccurate in the speaking and communication skills. All right, let's continue. Alvin? We write the sentence below to make statement using clauses with when and if expressing future. Modify the verbs when necessary. Check the answers with a classmate. All right. So now you have here five sentences, right? Five sentences. And what you're going to do is just mod. You can also modify the verbs. But modificar los verbos. I think they have them underlined, right? Underlined. But what I want you to do is. I want you to practice this using the examples that I just showed you, right? Remember the depending and the independent clause, que es lo que contiene, right? Don't get them mixed up. No se vaya, don't get them mixed up to where you're like, okay, ¿cuál es la independent? The independent uses the will and the dependent uses the if or when, right? No las dos, una o la, one or two, one or the other. Let's do, for example, para hacer la práctica aquí con ustedes, let's do number one, okay? Let's do number one together, and let's see what we get, all right? It says, the organization, the organization, uh, let me see, who wants to read it? ¿Quién la quiere leer? Who wants to read it? Just read the, not the sentence. The organization of the dog is bad. Time is wanted, wasted over unnecessary tasks. Okay. When? They, yeah, they want the want is when. Yes. All right. We're going to use the when. All right. So maybe we'll, when the organization of the dog is bad. Okay. Let me put it. When? When the organization of the dog is bad. When the organization of the dog. The time will be wasted over. Okay, let me see. Where does it say? Repeat it, please. The time will be wasted over unnecessary okay, tasks. Okay, let me ask you something, Alvin. Where is the word D? Donde está la palabra D? I don't know, just time. Yes, you have to use the words, all right? Yeah. So what do I do? Time will... Okay. Time will... Waste. Waste. Time will... Remember, it says here the underline the verb. I will, I will be. Will be. All right, will be. Wasted over unnecessary tasks. Wasted <clears throat> over on. Ah. Mm. 
All right. That's it. Is that correct, class? Yes. Okay, class, is that correct? I have a, a doubt. A doubt, a doubt. Uh -huh. When the word wasted, wasted, the verb. Okay, wasted. It's in the past, here. Will be wasted, okay, wasted. Wasted. It's in the past here in the in the sentences. Okay. Now, mm. let me let me ask you something. Uh, okay. Waste is a verb, right? Yes. All right. Now, do you think it's a verb here? Um. What is the verb? Aquí no es un verbo, Doris. Ok. Es yeah, un, I understand. Yeah, es, a... Es, a, es a adjective. Adjective, sí. Yes, ok. okay. The verb mm -hmm. is be. Mm -hmm. Ok. So okay. here it was being modified because it says here uh, modify the verbs when necessary. So it can still is and we use be, will be, será. Wasted is an adjective. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it's also a verb, Doris. No crea, no crea que está incorrecta, okay? Yes, it's mm -hmm. also a verb, but in this case, in this sentence, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's functioning as an adjective. Describiendo, okay. okay? Thank you. Describing. No problem, Doris. Thank you for asking. I understand, right? But you're saying, okay, yes, this, yes it's a verb, but uh, it's, here is functioning as an adjective. Okay. okay. Thank you, Doris, for your for your input. All right. Now, class, is this correct? Is this correct, Neftali? Um, I think there is a comma in it that is not. Where? When the organization of the duck is about time, comma. Where, where would the comma go? After, After bath. Okay. After bath. All right. Yeah. Very good. I start, right? Yes, that is correct. All right. That is correct. Remember, and then you put a period at the end, right? All right. Now, these are the things that you have to be aware of, all right? Put a little bit of attention to. Remember, when you use a dependent clause tiene que llevar una comma. You must put a comma. That is the punctuation rule. All right. Then you can, you, you can, uh, all right, let me ask you this, class. Can someone read to me the independent clause? ¿Cuál sería la clausula independiente? What, what would be the independent clause here? Time will be. Waste over unnecessary, unnecessary tax. That's all. Yeah, Doris. Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes, that is the independent clause. What would be the dependent clause? What would when, be? Mm -hmm. In dependent clause. Yes. When when the organization of the talks is bad. All right, very good. Yes, perfect. When the organization of the talk is bad. Yes, Doris. Wow, I have to give you extra points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, great. Great, perfect. This is what you have to do. Eso lo que harían. Understand this and be able to write it according to how the book says all right and number two this is if so you're going to use the if clause number three is when number four is when and number five is if all right so this is the correct answer for number one so remember that 
there's number one. Let's see how well you can do number two, number three, number four, and number five. Jackie. Tell me, teacher. Are you still having problems with number three? Yes, I am. Okay, while the class is doing this, I'm going to take care of this for you, okay? I'm going to okay. send you something on WhatsApp, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, let me go here. Teacher, I still have the same problem. I just, I made four and five. We actually one, two, and three. I have a wrong. You have it wrong. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I and I would do it like as you tell me in the in the in the picture that I took a screen, but uh, I still have it wrong. I, okay. I just have two goods, four okay. and five. All right, Edwin. Okay. okay. Thank you. I will send you something right now. Okay, Jackie and Edwin. Don't worry, I will send you something. Can you still see the screen? Um, yes. All right. The same screen? Porque yo estoy en otra pantalla. I'm on another screen. Can you still see the same screen with the book, right? Todavía pueden ver el libro ustedes? Yes? Yes. All right, great. Okay, Edwin, which one do you need? Um, three, four, and five? Uh, no, teacher, one, two, and three. Okay, I'm going to say, all right, just, I'm going to send you something, just do one, two, and three, okay? Okay, thank you.
Okay, just copy and paste. Okay, Edwin? Okay, teacher. All right, I, I send it to you right now. All right. I, I yeah, I received it already. All right, just Thank copy you. and paste. Do not type. Just copy, just copy that and okay. paste. Okay? Okay, I will do it right now. Thank okay. you. No problem. And then let me know. Okay. Okay, Jackie. Send me, teacher. Okay, um, just copy and paste that. Okay. Okay, I will All right. try. All right, that has to work. You only need number three, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, only number three. Okay, just copy exactly like that. Do not type it. Okay, no lo escriba en la plataforma. Just copy that and paste it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And let me know. Teacher, I, I send you uh, my, my answers. Would you check me, please? Okay. Okay, remember that you do not put capital letters. No se pone mayúsculas después de una coma, right? Do not put capital letters after a comma unless it's a, it's a person's name or a company name or something, right? Yes, okay, Carlos? yes, 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 I will, I will right. surrender the, that mistake. The, all right, ahí puede ver ahí, Carlos, que le da incluso a red line underneath, right? Puede ver la línea roja que le da la plataforma. La... Do you see the red lines in your answers that you sent me? Yes. Okay. Yes, that means it's misspelled. Okay. That means it's incorrect. Communication is C O M M. Right. Aquí está. Can you see it right here, Carlos? Yes, yes, teacher. All right. Uh, the way you send it to me is C O M I. Yes, yes. All right, so please correct that. And the other, this organization, the word is right here. Aquí está la palabra, right? But you have it sin la right? Okay. Sin the word station, right? So please fix that, all right? Let me it's see. It's limit, there is. All right, the other thing, Carlos? Yes, Carlos? teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, ¿Me puede decir que contiene la, la independent clause? Mm, yeah, for example, in the second question, the second sentence, uh, the financial, the 
the the money depends of the financial department. All right, but what does the independent clause? ¿Qué es lo que contiene la independent clause? Lo que puse en la pantalla earlier. What was it? You remember? I I didn't get get it. I didn't get it, teacher. Okay. All right. Let me. Is there anyone else that didn't understand? Alguien más que no entendió? Please tell me. Para decirlo de nuevo, so I can say it again. Or it, it's only Carlos. If there's anyone else that didn't understand it, please tell me, so I can correct. No, no one else. Okay. Let me see. Okay, Carlos. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Hay dos tipos de cláusulas. Okay. There are two types of clauses here in this activity. Okay, Carlos. One is an independent clause. Por favor, escríbelo si puedes. All right. Yes. And the other is a dependent clause. All right. The independent clause contains the will. Okay, Carlos? Okay, you. Tiene que contener el will. All right. The dependent clause contains if or when okay okay all right if you look at the examples si tú puedes ver los ejemplos aquí todas tienen un when y un will or an if and a will okay yes. all yes. of them all right so when we did the first one it contained both the will and the when when and the will now, if you look at your your answers on the dependent on the independent clause, uh, you didn't put the wheel. Uh, and in, and ninguna. None of them. Yes. Right? You did everything yes. else correct. Half of it is correct, Carlos. Half yes. of it is correct. The beginning, but then after the comma, all you did was wrote write this again. Right, but no, you have to put the wheel. Le tiene que agregar el wheel at the okay. independent clause. Okay. Okay. All right. So for number two, how would you say that, Carlos? Number two. Will number two? It could be if if he financial department sent in occurrence report. Uh, come on, <laughs> I didn't remember how can I say that. Um, will lost money. Money will be lost. All right. Money will be lost. All right. Okay. All right. You have to mm -hmm. use the will. All right. You have to use the will. And another thing, Carlos, eh, eh, please erase the word he, porque el he no está aquí en la oración. And number two. Okay. Okay. Uh, he is not here in the sentence, so please remove it. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. No problem, Carlos. Thank you for asking. Okay. Okay. And remember to fix the other vocabulary words that they are misspelled. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. All right, Carlos. Thank you for for asking the question. Okay, anyone else has a question? Alimas tiene una pregunta? Anyone else has a question? No? Okay. Now, the, okay, we did number one together in class, right? What will be number two? Remember, I want to hear the proper, the proper uh, grammar aspect and also the punctuation, right? Remember the punctuation. Can you give me number two, somebody, anybody? Yeah. 
Um, when, when the warehouse space is limited. Okay, number two. Number two. Ah, number two. Oh. If the financial department sends inaccurate report, comma, money will be lost. All right. Okay, very good, Doris. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so you say if the financial, I forgot the word, no se pegó aquí la palabra, financial department. All right, if the financial department sends inaccurate reports, money will be lost. All right. All right, very good, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Number three, who wants to do number three? Who wants to do number three? Me, hey, teacher. Uh-huh. Jackie? Okay, number three. Um, when the warehouse space is limited, there will be this organization. When the warehouse space is limited, uh huh. Comma. Okay, comma. There will be disorganization. All right, there will be this or can. Period. All right, yeah. Very good, Jackie. <laughs> Very good, right? So, Class, all right, thank you, Jackie. What is the dependent clause here? What's the other dependent clause? The dependent when the warehouse. When the warehouse. All right, very good, very good, excellent, excellent. Very good. Number four, who wants to do number four? I want to try, teacher. Go ahead, it is. When the employees open boxes and count items, time will be wasted. Mm -hmm. Repeat, employees open. And when the employees open boxes and count items, time will be wasted. Like that? I see it is. Yes, I think. Okay, let me ask the class. Is she correct? Class, is that correct? Okay, I made this and let me know when you're ready. I think that this is great, teacher. It's great. Okay. I think. All right. I believe. I believe that. <laughs> All right. Oh, there are comma after item. Ah. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. That's it. Only that. Yes. A period. In fight in the end. Ah. Very good. <laughs> very good. Excellent. <laughs> All right, that is punctuation, right? Punctuation is important. Very good. Excellent, Edis, and thank you for the clarification, Doris. All right. Very good. Yes, remember that when you have, cuando usted empieza con una independent clause, with a dependent clause, you have to put a comma before you begin the independent clause. All right, you have to separate the clauses, some clausulas. So you have to separate them with a comma. 
All right, but thank you for your participation. Number five, who wants to do number five? Can I try me to Yeah, try? go ahead, go ahead, Carlos. Okay, if there is lack of communication between employees, comma, the time will be food fuel orders increased. Okay, increased. if there is lack of communication between employees, right? Yes. Okay, and then what? Comma. Come on. Come on. Uh -huh. Yes. The time will be fulfilled. Orders increased. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will be the time. Will be the time. Okay, the time. Yeah. Yeah. Will the be the time to fulfill mm -hmm. orders increases. Close. Cerca. Close, Carlos. Oh, wow. Okay. Where is the mistake, teacher? <laughs> okay, it's close. Anyone else would like to try? The time. Oh, it can be the clause. The dependent, the independent clause. What would it be? The time will to fulfill orders in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's the same the thing. The time. Uh -huh. Can I? Yes. The time to fulfill orders will increase. Okay, the time to fulfill, fulfill. Orders. Okay, the time to fulfill orders. Will increase, you said? Yes. That is correct. The time to fulfill orders will increase will increase all right will increase teacher increase or increases um with s or without yes is is without the s because we're talking about mm. plural mm -hmm. hablando plural orders okay. all right so if it's plural I ask you all right. Because in the book is with uh S. Yeah, if if it's there with an S, but yes, it's there with an S, but if you see it underlined, si la ves subrayada, do you mm -hmm. see it? The yeah. the the way the instructions are said, it says modify the verbs when necessary. Right here? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Teacher. All right. Thank so you. it says when necessary. All right. When necessary. Okay. Yeah. So here is necessary because we're talking about plural, right? Plural. Fulfill orders will increase. Will increase. All right. I, I have a question, teacher. Yes. Why in this case? No, there are there to be after will. Okay, because you have the verb here. Ah. Okay. Ya no, mm -hmm. ya no, ya no es un adjetivo, ahora sí es un verbo, Doris. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for asking. Good observation, right? All right. But good job. Good job. All right. Remember, this is all about practice, right? It's all been thank you for asking questions, right? This is what makes the class better. And then when you participate, it makes it even better because I can see if you're having problems or not, right? But thank you, Doris, for the observation and mm -hmm. keeping keeping like an eye on what's going on here. That is important. That is important for your for your progress. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, all right. I think. Um, I think this is wonderful when you ask questions, but here is talking, um, the verb is increase. increase. Mm -hmm. Okay. And since okay. it's plural, como plural, you do not add the S. If it will be singular, yes, you will add increases. All right. Mm -hmm. If fuera una orden, it will be increases, but we're doing plural. But yeah, great. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this was a little bit of uh, grammar, a little bit of grammar with clauses, right? With clauses. 
Now, look what it says here. Um, can you read, please? It is. Choose. Number five. Choose three the sentences above and offer suggestions to solve the issues. All right. So now, after this activity, now is your turn to apply some knowledge about problem solving, right? I think on Friday and Viernes, we did a little bit of problem solving also, right? A little bit of practice of how to solve and a little bit on Thursday. So today, the, the, the book wants you to do just one more, right? Choose three. You're going to select three, right? Esta es la actividad. You're going to select three. Va a seleccionar tres de las cinco. Three of the five. And then you're going to offer suggestions to solve the issues. How would you solve the issues? Right? ¿Qué, qué aportaría usted para resolver estas situaciones? Right? How would, how would you how would you fix them if you were the manager? How would you fix them, right? Remember, at any given time, wherever you work, donde usted trabaja, ya sea gerente o administración, or manager, or the worker, there will always, siempre va a llegar un momento inesperado, right? There will always be a time where you have to act, where you have to solve problems. And that's where critical thinking and problem solving comes in. Where you're like, okay, how do I solve this problem, right? You can talk to people or you can try to solve it yourself with your own thinking skills, right? Some people are just like, okay, give me five minutes to think, right? Uh, and then you start thinking of how to solve these problems. Now, number one, we did together, right? We did together. The organization of the doc is bad. But we did when the organization of the doc is bad. Time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks, right? Esa la número uno. That was number one. And then two, three, and four, five are the ones you gave me here. So I want you to select three. Select three and just offer something. Aporte algo, como lo solveré? How would you solve it? How would you make it better? These are all problems, all right? This is about space. You have financial reports. You have employees open up boxes, lack of communication between employees, or um, the organization of the doc is bad. Remember, I gave you, I think it was on Friday, right? And Vienna de Dije Queda Docs, the definition of docs, right? The spaces that you use to load and unload uh, trucks. So if that space is not organized, how would you solve it? How will you solve it? We will talk about this after, let me see. Please take a picture of this. Let me take a picture of it so you can have it. Let me see. I can do the second attendance real quick. All right, there it is. I send it to the group so you can have it. Right, and we will be doing activity, the last activity of that page. All right, let's see. Okay, let me clear this. All right, 
Let me take the second attendance. Okay, Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Blanca, okay, not here. Brenda. Brenda, okay, not here. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present. All right, thank you. Edwin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Here, All right. Freddy? Yes, teacher. All right. Glenda? Present, teacher. All right. Iris? Present. All right. Jackie? Present. All right. And Jarvin? Present, teacher. Okay. Jennifer? Jennifer? Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Carla? Present teacher, I am late because I got out from a work late. You say I arrived at home. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here right now, Carla. I'm glad you're connected, okay? Thank you. All right. Let me see. Neftali? Present teacher. All right. Rolando? Hello. All right, Thelma. Present teacher. Okay, Janari. I'm here. All right, and finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay, class. Now, of those, you're not going to go in groups right now. All right, so. This is not going to be like a group activity or in breakout rooms. This is individual. So I want you to start thinking about those three solutions, those three solutions. Now you have the screenshot. I send it to the group in case you want to see it. We're basically doing the last part on page 31. And if you notice, uh, let me see something real quick. If you notice at the bottom of the page on number six, it says presented to the class, right? Presented a la clase. So we're going to do it in speaking only. And I'm going to show you what, what the, where is it? All right, here it is. Uh, if you notice here, this is the page, right? De la página. And it says, choose the three topics. Then it says here, present your suggestion to two classmates. But you're going to do it here in the class. You're going to do it here in the class. You're going to share your thoughts, su pensamiento, in regards to your suggestions. All right. Can anyone give me one? How would you solve one of those issues. Does anyone have a, any any suggestions? All right, I'm just going to call on someone then. Alvin. Okay, teacher. If I would choose the number three. All right. When the warehouse space is limited there will be disorganization. My suggestion for, for these issues will be uh, if there is, is there no space in the company, maybe I will going to construct another building. <laughs> to, All right. Maybe yeah. if I have yeah. the money. Exactly, right? Yeah, I will construct a building where all the product will be like and order, organize, and everything will be fine. I think so. 
Okay, great. Great. Thank you. That's a great, great input. Very good, Alvin. Yeah. Perfect. Anyone else without me calling your name? Let me see anyone else. Francisco, thank you. Yes. Okay, teacher. Raise your hand. You raise your hand. Go ahead. I, I would like to show the, uh, maybe a solution for the number four. All right, number four. For the number four, okay. Uh, when the employees open boxes mm -hmm. and come items, time will be wasted. Right. Uh, maybe we can to prevent this situation if the suppliers send the suppliers boxes, suppliers send the boxes with, uh, identified with a, a label. Okay, with, with the a label. All information to duplicate in the upside, yes, upside the, to the box. Okay, very good, very good. It's so like you, the pegatina. I don't know how you say pegatina. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, is it like glue? Mm. Are you talking about like a sticker or something? Yeah, he's talking yeah. about stickers. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea, right? To have a label be be there already on the boxes, right? With the appropriate labels. Very good, Francisco. Excellent, right? Yeah, that's a great way for the supplier to do that for you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Teacher, I would like to do number five. All right, number five. Okay, uh, my suggestion to number five, the there, if there is a lack of communication between employees, uh, the time to fulfill orders increase. My suggestion is like to give uh, capacitation to the to the employees to have more communication between them, and, and give more and talk to them every every morning to see if there is any problem or there is uh, issues that we can resolve after the uh, start working, and that's the way. The, the the company is going to work well in uh, in 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 the communication. All right, very good, okay. very good. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, perfect. Anyone else? All right, so we did four, uh, three, four, and five, right? Uh, anyone anyone have anything for number one or number two? Teacher, uh, I think for number two, uh, the possible suggestion, um, check before the reports. Uh, take time for for check before before to present the present present presentar present, present before presenting presenting the the report to bus is is for possible suggestion okay so send it have the boss look at it before right okay yes. very good very good it is excellent good job good job good participation anyone else would like to give a try to number one Anyone would like to challenge your number, challenge yourself on number one? Anyone? No? No one? Okay, let's continue then. Let's go to the next one, next page. Okay, thank you, Alvin, Francisco, Edwin, and Iris. Look at the next page, please. Let me see. On page, page 32, right? That's pretty much it. All right, let me see. Fredis, can you read, please? Uh. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want me to read it where it says, I will be able to? Yes, please. Okay. Provide safety measurement relate to different process at, at a warehouse. Number one, let's start. How do you say it? Hazard, hazard uh, doubt? Okay, okay, Freddy's. Hazardous, hazardous. Ha hazardous, that's how you say it, hazardous? Yeah, hazardous, hazardous. Hazardous, hazardous materials and machinery are always found in a, in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals might be found in a warehouse? All right, very good, very good. So we're talking about hazardous, hazardous materials, right? When we talk about hazardous materials, we're talking about toxic, productos toxicos, materiales toxicos, I'm sorry. Material that is toxic, it could be lethal, right? Or bad for your health. Remember that, right? Hazardous material normally tiene como un símbolo. A sign like like radiation or something, a radiación or something like that. Right? Hazardous material uh, do contain some type of toxic elements or radiation. And material always found in a warehouse. Now remember, let me ask you something. How many of you in your house right now, ahorita mismo in your house, have hazardous material that if you eat it, uh, 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 right, you get sick? Or it can irritate your skin if it touches you or the chemical gets on you or in the eyes. How many of you has tiene material hazardous? Hazardous is toxic to the all right. Tell me what, what is that? What product is it? What material okay. is? By gone. Okay, yes, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's hazardous, right? Lorraine. Excuse me? Paint. What what is it? Lejia. Okay, bleach. Bleach. bleach, bleach, bleach. Yes, all right. Bleach. That is that is correct. Yes, it's very toxic, right? If you drink bleach, you, it's bad for you, right? You will go to the hospital immediately. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, that is correct. What other chemicals can you find? Now that is in your house, right? That is in your house. Ahora, transferimoslo. Let's transfer ourselves. Let's go to the work site. Are there chemicals at work? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Well, yes. work at, yeah. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, there, there's different types of chemicals, right? Some people work with machines that that you have to wear a, a mask, right? A mask to be around that, right? Even painters have to wear a mask, right? Yeah. Right? So it's, it's important to always be careful, right? Now, Continue, ready? Okay. Number two, read it. Read this suggest. Read this segment about warehouse safety procedures. Okay, very good. So now this is a segment, un segmento, right? This is a segment about warehouse safety procedures, right? Todo lo que tiene que ver con el cuidado, right? Safety, safety. That includes your health, right? Your health. Take care of your body also, right? El cuidado de, del trabajo. Continue, please, Freddy. Okay. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and third-party logistics look at safety as meeting the minimum structure by the law of their conscience. Or their conscience. Or their conscience. In the long run, however, a safety warehouse environment delivers important cost saving throughout. Higher employee satisfaction and increased productive, productive, uh, productivity. 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 People workplace dis disrupt. And uh, how you say disruption? Disruptions, yes. Yeah, disruptions and reduce. That's uh, another word. Okay, absentee. Say that word, absentee. 
Absentee. Okay, now ism. Absenteeism. Absenteeism. All right. And equipment downtime. Very good. All right. So here we're talking about empieza unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, right? Lastimosamente, right? In other words, too many warehouses and 3PLs look at safety as meaning the minimum, right? A lot of companies, when it comes to safety, siempre lo ven como lo mínimo, right? How safety, right? El cuidado aquí, todo, que glasses, right? Que, que hats and gloves, que guantes, all this protection that you have to use. Many companies, they oversee that, all right? Miran, pero no ven nada, right? Some people, or some people are used to, right? Algunos ya están, o sea, están acostumbrados. You are used to nos aguantes, nos protector de ojo, all those different things that are available. We like, ah, right? Like, I don't need that, right? And then we're like, yeah, yo puedo, right? So, and then, hasta que se lastime, right? And then, Where, what, right? And that's what happens with some companies. They oversee some of the safety procedures and they just, ah, it's, it's all, so no problem, right? But it's important to stay, stay healthy as far as your body and your safety in the workforce. Continue, please. Um, let me get someone else to, to collaborate some of this. Who wants to continue reading? Thank you, Fredis. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes in training and education programs, It starts with you. Very good, very good. And when you say you, It's talking about you as a manager, you as an owner of a company, you as the one in charge of a warehouse, okay? Because it says here, don't expect, no espere que los trabajadores start esa cultura de, oh, que guante, que, right? So don't expect that. You have to enforce it, all right? Now, I worked, yo he trabajado en lugares que allí no se le pasaba nada, right? And then if you continued, For example, if I worked in an area where they were grinding in the metal factory, right, or soldadores or something, and you're using a grinder, right, and you're not wearing safety glasses, te hacen un escrito, como una molestación en el trabajo, right? And I worked in places like that where you have to have all the safety equipment. Si no tiene guante, el jefe te dice, hey, tu guante, ¿dónde están? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, ahí va uno, right? So it's important to, to understand that, right? You have to enforce the culture in your workforce. All right, uh, continue please, Abigail. Yeah, the following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. 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 All right, very good. Uh, so we have here, these are some measures. Algunos puntos que usted puede tomar para implementar. With your team. Your team, not in football, the soccer, right? We're talking about the team, eh, your, your team in the workforce, right? So, equipo de trabajo. Let me see. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you. I'm going to ask someone else to participate in the reading. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Please continue. Letter A. Letter a. Make sure the garbage and the wrist pins are available throughout the warehouse. Continue. Uh, B. Block access to expose or open loading the doors. All right. C. Keep eyes and in passage wedge clear at all times. Okay, aisles. 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 <laughs> okay. Continue. D. Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Very good. What what do they mean by here? ¿Qué quieren decir aquí? Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Hmm. If you're working in a warehouse, what do they mean by that? 
qué se refieren aquí? Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Hmm. What do you think? Maybe when you're picking up something. Ah, yes, exactly, right. Remember, when you're in a warehouse, y eso se le enseñan a uno también cuando empieza a trabajar allí, they, they teach you the safety, right? When you're picking up something, right? If you're picking up something, and uh, maybe you're watching me, quizá me están mirando ustedes, you can see me on the camera, right? If you're picking up something, hold on, my printer. My laptop, my other laptop. All right, so if, if, if I'm picking up something, they ask you, normalmente uno se, you do not bend over. Esto es bend over. Cuando uno se le recibe, ah, ah, this is bending over, right? You do not lift stuff like that if you're working in a warehouse. Why? Because you're going to hurt your back. You're going to hurt your back. Y ya cuando se lastima la espalda, trust me, no van a poder caminar bien, right? I want to agarre aire, right? Oh, I can't miss over la señora, el señor, right? So, and then you're like, oh. And sometimes people, I don't know, how many of you have had that problem? A mí me ha pasado una o dos veces, right? We're like, ni hablar se puede como que estaba aquí, right? So that's what he's talking about. Keep, keep your back straight. Siempre se mantenga una postura firme, right? Don't be like, ah, right? And pick up something. That's what they're talking about here. All right, continue, please. Okay. Si estuviéramos Teach en clases please. presenciales, fuera diferente, right? Ahí estuviera el payasito, ahí. pero ahorita, pero. <laughs> All right, continue, please. Right. Okay. Uh, teach employees to push manual material, handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. All right, very good. Continue. Test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep dogs and fruits free of boxes, garbage boxes, mining materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to about floor, racks, and shelves only is portable ladders or appropriate lifting device are available. Okay, appropriate. 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 All right. Thank you. Very good, excellent, well read, very good. Now, here is giving you some tips, all right? It's giving you some tips on how to, to work with some of these, with some of this material, right? And when we're talking about, ¿qué quiere decir bailing material? B-A-L-I-N-G material. What are we talking about here? What is bailing material? Bailing material, huh? Anyone? Yes? I think it up now. Anyone? Bailing material. That's packed. Yes, that's packed. It viene con un montón de, right? Sometimes alambre or something, wires, and it's wrapped, right? And then it's loose or something, you have to pick it up. That's what it means by bailing material, all right? Bailing material. It's a bunch of stuff, bastante de basura, put together, y hacen como un bull, un, I don't know how you say it in Spanish, right? Maybe somebody can give me a good word. Uh, um, it's like paca. Yeah, there you go. Paca like that, right? Uh, un bulto así, right? Full of trash, y le amarran el lazo, pita, whatever, right? That is bailing materials, all right? Which can, when you pick it up, it can, certain parts will fall on you or something. Right, it could be dangerous. Now, classify the security. Continue, please. Um, see who wants to read your turn? Who wants to read your turn, number three? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Number three. Yes. Your turn. Classify the security measure above in the categories from the box below. Okay. Compare words with a partner. All right, very good. All right. Categories. 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 Yes. Uh, there you go. Perfect. 
Now, you're going to classify the security measures, right, that you see here above. Above significa arriba o superior. And uh, from the box below, all right? Compare your answer with a partner. So you have general housekeeping, falls, and other preventable mishaps. What is mishaps? Mishaps, right? It's a negative word. Right? Someone tell me what is mishaps? Si yo le digo preventable mishaps. What am I talking about? What do you think is mishaps? ¿Qué quiero decir con mishaps? What is it saying here? Right? It could be synonym to preventable, right? Accidents, right? Falls, caídas y algunos unos accidentes preventables, right? O preventibles. I don't know which one is correct in Spanish. But preventable mishaps. Mishaps are like accidents or, or bad actions. Manual lifting, forklifts, and material handling equipment. Now remember this word right here, forklifts. ¿Qué la forklifts? Se la di una vez. Forklifts. Do you remember what a forklift was? ¿Alguien se acuerda que era un forklift? Montacarga. Yes, right? Like a... Tiene los dos tenedoritos enfrente, right? Like a fork. Right, yes. So it, they use it on warehouse to pick up packages and to load on trailers or inside the warehouse or in businesses, right? All right, now, A, B, C, D, all the way to H. Where will you put these? ¿Dónde pondría usted estas categorías? For example, letter A. It says, make sure that garbage and debris or bins are available throughout the warehouse. ¿Qué categoría sería esa? La basura y los basureros. ¿A quién le...? A quién le... General housekeeping. Very good. General housekeeping. Yes. Right. Como los que andan uh, limpiando. De limpieza, it will go here. Yeah. So you will put, aquí pondría A. Let me see. You will put A here. Right? Hey. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Le voy a decir algo. There are eight. Hay ocho aquí. Two for each one. Dos para cada uno. Ni más ni menos. Right? So two go in each, in each box. All right. So, ya le di una. A goes here. Right. You have to figure out where would B go. Bye. Let's do B. Where would B go? Block access to expose or open loading dock doors. What would it be? What would that be? Holds and other preventable mishaps. All right. Very good. That would be B. Okay. What about C? Keep aisles, aisles and passageways clear at all times. General housekeeping. Mm -hmm. No. Manual lifting. Mm -hmm. Keep all the passageways clear. Los pasillos libres en todo momento. That will be manual lifting. Mm. General house. Four lifts. Four lift, okay. yes. Recuerden, si anda el four lift, ahí, eh, 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 levantando la cara. You have to keep everything clear. All right? Clear. Not clean. Clear. Right? Clear. Significa sin entropecer el tráfico. All right, so C will go here. All right, now you can do the rest. Two for each one.
Okay, Jackie. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, did it work? Yes. All right, let me see. <laughs> you say it like, yes. <laughs> All right, let me see. All right, I'm looking at your, como tengo varios textos. All right, all right, awesome. Ya miren su mensaje. All right. Let me see. Thank you, Jackie, for confirming it. Let me see. Carlos, did it work? Yes, teacher. Did uh, all your, an your answers on the platform? They're good? Edwin? Yes, teacher. It works. Thank you. All right. All right, great. It's because I have a lot of messages here. All right, let me see. I have a. All right, yeah, I have a. Other messages here. You let me know when you're finished. Let me know when you're finished. Let's see what else you what else you got here. Finish the church. All right. All right. Okay, class. I'm looking at all the platforms here. I'm looking at the platform and all right. Thank you, Neftali, for finishing it. All right. Okay, everybody has finished the the homework on 
<clears throat> homework three. Excellent. All right. They were already contacting me about it. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so now I have to give any names to no one. Yeah, you finished. Great. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, class. Now I have here the we did A here, right? A and then then we did C here. C. All right. So where will be D? D. Can someone tell me? Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. What would what would that be? Manual lifting. Ah, uh, yeah. So I can almost try, right? <laughs> I just finished demonstrating, right? It would have been better in. Presencial, it probably would have been better showing you how to do some of these actions, right? D, A, B, and then D and C. What would be E? What would be letter E? It's hitting for lift and material handling equipment. Whenever possible, rather than pull loads. Hmm. What would that be? <laughs> Manual lifting. Mm. All right. Would that be? Mm -hmm. I think it's forklift. Forklift, yeah. right? Forklift. Yeah. All right. All right. To push. Now, um, this one E can also can also be manual lifting también. Okay, Doris. Uh, I can okay. I can understand it. It can go either or, okay? It can go either or, all right? So if you have it the other way, I will accept it, right? You can probably say that you're almost correct also, right? So it's, I can understand being there also. Mm -hmm. All right, what about F? Right? Test the load. I can I can revisar el peso antes de levantar, right? Test the load before antes de lifting. Como eran dos por cada una, this one will fit there, right? F. It will be F. All right. What about and the last one? I mean, not the last one, but G. Free of garbage, de basura, right? We're talking yeah. dirt. Hmm. General housekeeping. Yes, general housekeeper, right? That would be G. And the final one. H. H. All right. That would be H. Permit access to floor racks, right? Shelves, falls, and other preventable mishaps. All right. So put those answers on your book. Si tiene su, su module, su libro ahí, you can put the answers on them. So that way you can keep better understanding of these uh, when you're doing with safety regulations or anything related to to safety. I right? always understand that safety comes first. Remember that class, wherever you work, remember safety is always important. Why? Porque sin una buena salud, sin un buen cuerpo para moverse, you won't be able to work, right? Now you can still work in certain areas, right? You can still work in certain areas, but remember, cuando uno ya se molesta de salud de la columna or something, ya queda en el olvido para la empresa, right? Remember that, right? So always keep yourself safe and keep the safety for others, right? Right. So always remember that for your for your benefit, for your benefit. Um. Any questions about this reading? Any suggestions? 
it doesn't mention a lot about chemicals, right? Uh, although it mentions it at the beginning, but what chemicals could you find in a warehouse? Si usted va a una warehouse ahorita, en el salo, anywhere in the world, what, what are some of the chemicals that you might find? Poison. Poison, okay, rat poison, right? Some people keep rat poison for the rats, right? Putan de ratas en la warehouse, yeah, right? They're eating the boxes, right? They're like, ah, right. What else? What else can we find? Anyone else? What else can we find in a warehouse that could be a chemical toxin? Remember that in a warehouse, I gasolina, there's gasoline, right? There's thinner. Where alcohol? They say, huh? Alcohol? Alcohol, yes. That's true. It could be flammable, right? Flammable, flammables, right? It could be mm -hmm. flammable material or content. Very good, very good. Now, we are finished with unit three, class. What is the next unit? What is the next topic of the next unit? ¿Cuál es el tema de la siguiente unidad? What is the next topic about for tomorrow? So be ready. Dun, dun, dun. Inventory. 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 Yes. El inventario. All right. All right. This is the inventory, right? El inventario. Aquí es donde ponen inventar. Ah, no, no, right? Inventory, right? It's the inventory. The products that are stored wherever you're at. It could be a warehouse or in your job. The, it could be your office, right? So oficina could have the inventory. So I'll be ready for that for tomorrow, and I will do the final attendance. Uh, Yanari, you stay today for uh, the extra 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. All right. Let's begin with the attendance. Abigail. I'm here. Okay. Let me stop the screen. All right. Terminamos a tiempo? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right on time, right? That is what you call perfect timing, right? Okay, Blanca. Blanca. Okay, not here. Didn't come to class zero. Brenda. Brenda. Okay, didn't come to class zero. Carlos? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. All right, thank you. Edwin? Present, teacher. Okay. Francisco? Present. All right. Present, teacher. Thank you. Freddy? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Glenda? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris? It is. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose? Juan Jose? Okay, disconnected. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rolando. Hello. All right. Thank you, Rolando. Tenma. Present teacher. All right. Hey, I like your background, Rolando. Nice. Right. I need to thank go you. to the beach. <laughs> nice sunset already. Right. Relax, right? Janari. I'm here. Okay, and finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay, class, be ready for tomorrow. And um, for those of you that finished the platform, I already saw everyone finish. Ya todos completaron la, la tarea número tres. Thank you very much. All right, that way I don't have to say nothing. All right, great, perfect. I, I'm going to put your grades right now for the ones that just did it in the administrative platform everyone has completed great job everyone good night take care and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye
Bye, teacher. All right. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you, baby. Good night. Good night. All right. All right, Jackie. Thank you for the Christmas tree again, Jackie. Yeah, well, I love to see your Christmas tree. All right, cool. All right. All right, let me see. Only Yanari, right? Let me yeah. take out. Let me take out this card. Let me remove her. All right, there we go. Remove. Okay, Carla. You are gone. Okay, sorry. All right, Janari? Yeah, Dijan. All right. So here we are, 10 minutes extra, and this is your free time. Yeah, Dijan, and actually, I, I, I would like to, to um, explain again about the unit three and the last when we use when or if. Okay, the clauses. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, no problem. Okay. Let me go back to the PowerPoint. How was your day today? Good? Good, teacher, because I I had a, a weekend. Um, I, I I I forget that the word fancy divertido. Okay, it was fun. Fun, yeah. yeah. Fun. The weekend because I went with my son to El Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Yeah, it was it was good. And today I was it was relaxed my my day in my job. Okay. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> All right. Well, the traffic uh, is other one. <laughs> it's other thing. The traffic is, is terrible here in San Salvador. Yeah, hey, I understand. Yes, I remember. I know that when I go over there. Um, I, I I hear in in um, in San Miguel too. It, the traffic is terrible too. It's starting to. It's starting mm -hmm. to. Y empieza actual. It's starting to, but there's certain hours, right? Certain um, hours. For example, at four, mm -hmm. 4 p.m., it's a little heavy, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little yeah. four, five, six. Those three mm -hmm. hours are heavy. Really? Are heavy, yes. yes you go at, uh, carnaval? <laughs> at the party? No, no I, party. Didn't, I didn't go. I didn't go. I went, to, <laughs> I went to La Union, though, and we went with family and uh, celebrated um, one of my wife's nephew's graduation, you know, he's a, yeah. so graduated and uh, got better. <laughs> yeah, so we wait, we ate, you know, we ate good and stayed <laughs> over there and then came back. So, if you, if you, ever, if you went to San, San Miguel party, you maybe will be finished uh, tired. Really yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, I'd be tired, right? I've been to the carnivals before, but uh, not this year. Not this year. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, they had it, though. It was. I heard a lot. Of, they had fun. <laughs> a lot of people that went told me it was fun, right? But they, at least <laughs> you know the good thing, Janari, that they yeah. left the streets clean. El siguiente día en la mañana, everything was picked up. The button. Yeah, mm -hmm. like basurero aquí, no, it was pretty good, right? Compared to other times, que el siguiente día era como que, yeah, it was trash yeah, everywhere. Yeah. It was like, but this time it was a little bit better, right? I can say that because I've been to carnivals before, and I remember mm -hmm. the next day is trash everywhere, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you can imagine, right? All right, so let's um, let's look at this real quick. Yeah. Remember, this mm -hmm. is the first thing that you have to remember, Yanari. Mm -hmm. When we talk about clauses, independent, dependent. Mm -hmm. la primero, the first thing you mm -hmm. have to understand. An mm -hmm. independent clause. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Eso ya lo sabe, right? Lo que puse, mm -hmm. independent clause. Yeah. All right, the independent clause. I'm not going to write it all. No lo escribí todo para, para la práctica. Dependent, independent. Ya sabe que es eso, right? Mm -hmm. Independent, dependent, 
right? The independent clause nunca puede ir sola. It can never be by itself. Mm -hmm. It will always have lo que es an if or when, right? When we're talking about clauses. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Porque no tienen un término. It would be like me saying, si yo fuera, si yo fuera la luna, ya nadie. Ajá. Ajá. Está esperando una respuesta, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Exactly, right? A eso me refiero. Yeah, so, oh. no pueden quedar así. Esos son, uh -huh. esos son, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, espérame. It's dependent and independent. independent. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So the dependent clause is when you use if. For example, if I say, if I, if, if I go to the moon, Yanari, ya mm -hmm. me quedo, like, you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. right? So uh, they're dependent porque se necesita una respuesta, una mm -hmm. causa y un efecto, all right? Una relationship, all right? So if, or when, puede iniciar al principio de la oración, mm -hmm. you can use it at the beginning, but if you use it at the beginning, Yanari, you mm -hmm. must put a comma to mm -hmm. separate the clause from mm -hmm. the independent clause. La cláusula independiente es así, puede ir sola. Mm -hmm. Y no hay ningún problema. But if you use a dependent clause al inicio, tiene you que have to, you have to, comma. Comma to divide, to divide uh -huh. the two clauses. The For example, I don't know, when I was, when I was a uh, child. When I was a child. A child, comma. Uh -huh. All right. I, uh, when uh, I was a child. Very good. Uh, comma. I watched watch more TV. I watched. I watched TV. I watched TV. Very good. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. good. Now, if you notice here, usted hizo una relación. Past. Uh -huh. Past. Uh -huh. Right? You okay. can use it present or present, but you use mm -hmm. past and past. Nothing wrong with that, Yanari. No hay ningún mm -hmm. problema con eso. As long as you're respecting the past. And the past, you utiliza todo el past. Right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what about for future? Future, 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 future. When, when, when I, I don't. <laughs> you want me to give you an example, Yanari? Uh, what? Did do, you, do you want me to give you an example? I tried it, but I don't remember. <laughs> okay, let me see. I can give you one. Okay, let me help you. Okay. okay. When I go, present simple, right? Uh -huh. When I go uh -huh. to the store, when I go to the store, mm -hmm. I va a clausula, cuando yo voy a la tienda, right? Mm -hmm. When I go to the store, I will buy a new, or, or I will buy, ah, for example, toys, who get this? Uh -huh. right, for Christmas, right? When I go to yeah. the store, I will buy toys. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I but go... Because, uh, I, I have a, a, a dog. Uh, you write in the present. Yes. The verb. Because we're you doing future. Porque estamos haciendo futuro. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. If I talk uh -huh. in the past, like you use, then I will uh -huh. be como el pasado. It will stay in the past. In, in, yes. In the past. Yes. All right. But when I use present simple, remember present simple not necessarily is algo que es ahora en el presente, sino que es algo real también. Something that is true. All right. Mm -hmm. You can use the present simple for that. But when you use the will, automáticamente el futuro. Automatically mm -hmm. we're talking about the future. When, right? when you use will, the will, yes. the will work. Okay. Yeah, the will. And then mm -hmm. you use the verb present simple. The verb present. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you use will for future, the verb mm -hmm. has to be in present tense. Uh, did I, uh, I asked that 
that thing because uh, in Spanish we yes. we we have more con contraction. For example, uh, I, I will say in Spanish. Cuando vaya, en este caso nosotros cuando vaya a tal parte cuando eh, cuando me paguen, por, por ejemplo, cuando me paguen o cuando me vayan a pagar, nosotros te, we que... say in most, eh, most con, en, en muchas formas. Most yes, forms. exactly, right? Because um, lo estamos usando todo incluido para el futuro. Ajá, ajá. We, ajá, we are including ajá. it. Cuando uno lo yeah. dice así, ya se entiende que estamos hablando de algo del futuro. Right? But in English, in English, uh -huh. you can't. Right? I mean, you can si la persona sabe de lo que está hablando. Right? If you already in uh -huh. right? For example, if me and you are talking right now, Yanari, and I say, uh -huh. um, teacher, dígame usted, teacher, uh, can you pay me the, uh, the money for my job? Right? Or for my work? We're uh -huh. having a conversation. I say, yeah, Yanari. Oh, Yanari, you know what? When I get paid. Pero when I get paid. Pero ya sabemos entre usted y yo a qué me refiero. But if I just say it like that, como le dije ante, uh, at the beginning of the class, yeah, when I go to the moon, cuando yo vaya a la luna. What? Mm -hmm. Right? Uh -huh. like, right? Mm -hmm. But in English, you have to be very specific. Uh, in, in, uh, we have to say uh, always. I think I don't know if I mistake. Uh, always the verb it will be in present. If you're talking about the future, yes. Because we we have, we're going to use will. We yeah, exactly. Will. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. So you use present simple, right? Okay. Right. Um, other, other when I when oh, you can give when me I, when I go when I go I don't know when I when I or oh, when I travel when I uh, when I travel to United States I don't know if, if o if, puede if, decir el if el if también practique el if demo ah, okay okay Practice if, the if. I mm -hmm. go, if I if I go, right? All right, all right. Yes. Let me write it for you. If I go okay. to United States, to the U.S. U.S. Comma. Um, I will visit. Mm -hmm. My sister. Ah, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Aquí mm -hmm. estoy el if, right? Si yo voy a los Estados uh -huh. Unidos, yo, visit, yo visitaré a mi hermana. Teacher, but we we can use el, the going going or not? Not for uh, if I go. Yeah, you can use. I'm going. I'm going, but remember that I'm uh -huh. going. If, uh -huh. El will, I'm going to give you a little, a little extra here, Yanari. Possibility. Yeah, I'm going to, it could be not 100% also, all right? El will es afirmativo. O sea, yo iré a visitar, a, o sea, que dice, yo voy a ir a visitar. You're doing it 100%. I will uh -huh. visit, es más definido. It's more affirmative, uh -huh. all right? And going is... Uh, yeah, I'm going uh, to visit... <laughs> You can still use I'm going to, porque uh -huh. siempre se refiere que ir a visitar a su hermana, right? Uh -huh. Yo voy a ir a visitar a mi hermana, o yo visitaré a mi hermana. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, Yanari? El, 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 el visita, voy a visitar es que posiblemente vaya. <laughs> ah, yo visitaré, ya como ya firmando al 100%. You're, you're affirmative. Uh -huh. It's more affirmative, but remember that both of them can be used for future. But will, will is mm -hmm. more affirmative. Oh, okay, okay. Okay? Okay, be clear. <laughs> if you say, I'm going to call you, or I will call you, el will es como, te llamaré, 
te voy a llamar, te llamaré, all right? So that is the yeah. difference, all right? It depends yeah. how you want to say it. If you want to be 100% sure, you're going to uh -huh. use will. Will, oh, okay. right? All right? Okay. So that's... Thank you, DJ. No problem, no problem, Yanari. All <laughs> right, let me see. Thank you for staying the extra time. And it was a, it's sure. a pleasure having you in class. All right. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. And if I need more, oh, some work. If I, if I need more extra time, <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> if you need more, if, right? If I need more, I will tell you. There you go. You see? You just used it. Lo acabo de aplicar ahorita, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Good job. Good job, Yanari. There you go. You see? Practice, right? Practice. Great job. Thank you. All right. Good night, Yanari. Take care. Nice I'll see you job. tomorrow. Bye.